we in Texas are, are experiencing a rapid increase in the concentration of economically deprived youngsters in our city school systems. For instance, the major cities in Texas enroll about 25% of the state's student population. At the same time, this past year we enrolled 33% of the state's economically deprived students. The population in our city school systems, that is the disadvantaged population, is growing at a rate 25% faster than our normal population. Across the nation, this municipal overburden is seriously limiting the funds that are available for education. Therefore, again today, one year later, we are turning to the Dallas Chamber of Commerce in conjunction with all of the local chambers to call upon leading citizens from every walk of life to form a blue ribbon task force on financing quality education for the 70s. The purpose of this would be to take an in-depth look at the present financial condition of the district, to review the financing of education for the next five to 10 years, in light especially of the problems that I've just mentioned, and then to counsel with the Board of Education, with parent groups, with employees of the district, to work with us in determining the best means and the best approaches to accomplishing our goals and paying for them. The uh, third function that's involved with land use is the lever which it gives the surrounding cities and regions to have a knowledge of what's going to be done on the airport and at what point on the airport it will be done so that they can complement their land planning with the airport. Uh, since the airport itself is such a, an economic pivot point and such a, a big shoehorn in bringing business to this area, it's uh, incumbent upon the surrounding cities that they use that lever as a, to their advantage in the economic development of their uh, own towns and areas. Well, according to uh, a reputable social research group, uh, I released an evaluation uh, sometime earlier this year. Uh, the Crossroads uh, manager here, the administration of Crossroads, is tied to uh, urban rehabilitation in such a way that it would limit his, his authority. Publicly, it looks like he has uh, uh, authority to run the center, the whole, the entire operation, but real power is invested in the Department of Urban Rehabilitation here. Do you feel that if they were under two separate department heads, they would be more efficient, the crossroad program would be more efficient? Well, I'm not prepared to make a judgment like that. I think that there needs to be a reassessment by the board and perhaps by other uh, people, certainly. Uh, and, of course, these people need to make a, a decision as to where real authority should lie. One of the reasons why the church suffers in some aspects is the fact that it has become so narrow. And there is a general public reaction against the lack of community. Write the word with capital letters. Uh, when you refuse to participate, when you refuse to be responsible for your brother and in community life, 
uh, the atmosphere of the world is to be very impatient with it. There's a great deal of that now that is in the air, and then until I think we get more adjusted to working with each other, we're going to find uh, ourselves held somewhat in judgment. brother 